Maine and the Caribbean nation of Trinidad and Tobago are thousands of miles apart, but today that distance felt a little smaller as the New England Pan Festival returned to Augusta for its 31st year. Our Donovan Lynch was there. With sounds like these, it's hard to stand still. It's just joyous music. Or leave unimpressed. I was really blown away the first time I heard it. Here in Augusta, musicians of all levels and ages are striking steel at the 31st New England Pan Festival. Pan music can bring together all generations. Christine Letcher helped organize this round robin all day concert. With covers of Miley Cyrus songs and symphonies, she notes the flexibility of the instrument. A lot of uh, Caribbean music, but a lot of bands have now arranged pop tunes and classical music. While the genres are free flowing, the history of pan drumming is closely tied to the island nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Under British colonial rule, authorities there banned the use of traditional African drums in the 19th century after a revolt by the island's black population. But locals were undeterred, using whatever materials they could find to make musical instruments from scratch. In the 20th century, this ingenuity combined with a large number of steel drums left behind by the U.S. Navy, creating a new type of sound. Steel band started by accident. Nobody really sought out to make it. Tristan Japsey is from a family of pan drummers. Today, he's performing with his band Steel Sensation, a group based out of New York City. Japsy sees the type of music he's playing as something that stands out in different ways to different listeners. It's very different from any other instrument. Um, a lot of people would say it's soothing, it's calming, you know, it, it, it depends. But while each ear may hear something distinct, the joy created in steel is seemingly universal. In Augusta, Donovan Lynch, New Center, Maine.